I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant and today on Know Your Local Species we are going to learn about the red squirrel with fall officially here to stay for the time being at least. You'll no doubt spot a variety of animals scurrying about as they make their winter preparations. One such critter you'll likely spy this season is the beautiful yet feisty red squirrel. It's an industrious rodent and can easily but be identified by their signature reddish coat that thickens considerably in cooler weather. But did you know that the red squirrel is closely related to the chipmunk? Or that a litter of red squirrels usually clocks in at four to five babies? In case you can't get enough of these lovable yet territorial rodents, here are six facts you may not know about the red squirrel. Their name hints at totally red coat. Red squirrels aren't actually fully red in color. The coat on their backs can range from grayish brown to a shock of rusty red while their throats and bellies and rings around their eyes provide a contrast of stark white. Red squirrels don't usually hibernate during the winter. In fact, they stay active throughout the season. If you spot a red squirrel hurrying about during the fall, it's likely because it's on a mission to prepare for the upcoming colder months by collecting and storing food for future consumption. While we all imagine red squirrels munching merrily on nuts and acorns, the red squirrel's diet is much more varied than those singular items. True, their main source of nutrition comes from nuts and seeds from pine cones. But by definition, red squirrels are omnivores and their diet extends to include flowers, berries, mushroom, bugs, mice, eggs, and small birds. I did not know this. Red squirrels have a firm grasp on food storage, using tree cavities, under bush piles, and, and dens as their own pantries. Red squirrels can ensure that their food they've gathered for the winter will be kept safe and out of the way of trespassers. Before storing mushrooms, that they have forged, red squirrels have been known to lay them out and dry them on tree branches. Well, that's pretty smart, isn't it? Red squirrels are feisty and territorial toward intruders, and confrontations between two red squirrels often entails a lot of tail flickering, chattering, and foot stomping. Though these actions may seem adorable to us as onlookers, it can mean that things are getting pretty heated in the squirrel argument. There are reasons why red squirrel's tails are so big and bushy. When it's not being flipped around to intimidate a rival, the tail of the red squirrel is primarily used for balance as the animal jumps from tree to tree in wooded areas. The tail is measured to be about half the size of an average red squirrel. Half of the animal's body length is devoted to helping it keep balance and intimidating other squirrels. The red squirrel is about half the size of the gray squirrel. The red squirrel weighs five to 11 ounces and measures 10 to 15 inches. From nose to tail, the sexes look alike and show seasonal color variation. In summer, they are a rusty red on the upper body and grayish white on the lower and have a prominent black stripe along each side. The tail is a reddish color on the top and a yellowy gray on the underside. In winter, the fur becomes paler and the black stripes disappear. There are two molts each year. The female usually ready for her first litter at the age of one year and thereafter can produce two litters annually. Breeding occurs in late February to March and again in June and July. After mating, the males are antagonistic towards each other. The females keep them away from the litter after gestation period of 36 to 40 days, from one to seven young are born. They are naked and remain blind for about 27 days. At about one month, they begin to venture from the nest and are weaned shortly afterwards. The young disperse in late summer and early fall. The population density varies according to the habitat and the season. Red squirrels are active by day and on moonlit nights. The red squirrel is a chatterer. It clucks and grunts and calls out warnings, which help maintain its territory. Except during the breeding season, it is a solitary creature that is very likely to fight intruders. Its home range is less than 200 yards in diameter. 
The red squirrel is agile in the trees and can jump five feet and upwards of about three feet from a moving branch. It is also a good swimmer. I hope you have enjoyed this Know Your Local Species.